Alright, so this video is going to seem kind of weird. I'm just giving you a warning right now. I filmed this over the span of about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. And in that time I filmed other projects as well. And somewhere along the way I accidentally deleted some files that I shouldn't have that were part of this project. So it basically goes from like pretty much empty to like halfway done to the end. There's like no in between. I lost it all. I apologize. The final project, the final product... It's still really cool though, so stick around. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, a lot of people like to see the process, and it's just not there. But anyways, still worth a watch. It's really awesome. I guarantee it. Check it out. All right, we're officially starting the Scrapscape on the 50-gallon low boy. Welcome to the channel. So, I've got buckets of old substrate. This is fluval stratum this is eco complete we're probably going to mix them i also have a bucket of just sand that i might use as well so we have all kinds of malaysian driftwood here and because malaysian driftwood is kind of heavy i did put this styrofoam under here to help support the weight because this is a four by two piece of thin glass and i don't want it to shatter i don't know that it would but it does help to be a little cautious why not and this will help support the weight and stop it from bowing. First things first, I think we got to get substrate in here and then figure out where I'm going to go. I have no plans. I've just got crap. So let's get the substrate in. All right guys, check this out. So I found a little pump from back in my reptile days of vivariums and stuff like that. So I drilled a hole. You can see the hose coming out there. It's gonna come, it's gonna fill up this little section right here and then it'll overflow into the tank, I think. I probably should have checked to make sure that that's watertight, but who cares? If it's not, it'll still be cool, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm at and breathing kind of heavy been carrying this thing all around I think I finally got it where I want it I think that's it it should be pretty cool and I'm gonna put like some plants in here maybe some Anubias down around it I don't know we'll have to see when I get there so I did decide to go ahead and do a test run before I go any further I uh, just got this cord obviously we'll do cable management when it's done but for right now I'm just gonna drape it over the front and plug it in slowly fill it up and uh, see if this thing works I don't have any idea how these screws got in here but I tried I don't have any tool that can get them out they are rusted in there good so I'll probably rot, wrap some moss or something around there but yeah otherwise at this rate it's gonna take a while I'll check back in in a little bit all right checking back in you can see I've added two three more pieces of wood this one I keep moving around I'm not too sure I do kind of like it there though I might, I might keep it there it's kind of a weird l-shaped long skinny thing it doesn't really fit anywhere so I think that's where it's going we got a little spider inhabitant right here not wanting to focus on him there we go what's up buddy and uh, yeah added the pothos there I don't like this haze why am I I'm gonna have to add some sort of reflector up there so we don't get the haze. But yeah, I'm digging this piece of wood over here. I got the sponge filter going. Uh, all just kind of temporary, trying to get this water cleared up a little bit. I might put another sponge filter on this corner just to help with the circulation. But honestly, I think it'll be just fine. I really like how this is shaping up though. I'm gonna find some Anubias for like in between the woods here. Um, I should have some. Yeah, I got some here. This plant, I should probably move over there. It's dying off. Uh, hmm. Oh, up here, lots of Anubias. Yeah, we're definitely good to go. Some more Anubias over there. So, yeah, I can raid these tanks. I got sword plants up here still. I got lots of plants to choose from. That's what I'm gonna work on now. So check it out. I found me some moss in my backyard. I ripped it up and it's in here now. Doing pretty well. Of course, it's only been about 12 hours. We're actually 
on day number two right now. So as long as you keep a little bit of this in the water, this up here is still pretty moist and it's because it's down here in the water on each end, it's kind of sucking it up there. A little piece over here just was floating around so I stuck it right there. We got Anubius Coffifolia. This is Kleiner Prin Sword. Uh, random, this might just be sphagnum moss to be honest with you, I don't know. This is Pothos. And then a couple weeks ago I bought some plants for my pond and I found this one still in the bucket and it's almost <laughs> died off. It's, you know, it's still green, but it definitely was not happy sitting in a bucket for a couple weeks. So I'm actually gonna take this out. This is a uh, lizard's tail and uh, we're gonna plant that probably back there. I got a pot for it, more Nubius coffifolia. I might put another sword plant back there. I love it when the sword plants grow out of the water, so uh, we probably will. Another Nubius just floating back there in the corner. I didn't really find a good spot for it, so I just threw it back there for now. But I got myself a pot here, so we're gonna get that planted up. I put batting in there to cover the hole on the bottom so the substrate doesn't fall through. And I'm just gonna scoop it out of this bucket right here. Hopefully enough in here. All right, so here's the finished product here. And as this thing grows, I'm gonna have to move it out to the pond because it should get a lot bigger. Uh, the, the little care card on it said it needs a one gallon pot, which clearly this is not. But if it recovers and grows well, I will move it out to the pond in a bigger pot. As of right now, that's where it's gonna go. Definitely need a foreground plant in here of some kind, but I don't have any and this is Scrapscape, so I can't order anything for it. Speaking of which, Things I would do if I was actually building this, uh, like, I don't know what you want to call it, like legit build or whatever, not a scrapscape, like an actual build. I would have done something with the background, either paint it black or got the black um, cardboard or anything to really black it out. I would also, I'm also thinking about different lighting instead of this. Um, maybe I would do like spotlighting. Where's, I have an LED light somewhere, but I only have one of these little LED spotlights and I think it'd be cool to put it up here like that and aim it down on there. This is only like 10 watts though, so it's not very bright. Uh, I had this on a 12 by 12 by 18 uh, zoom in terrarium, which actually worked pretty good on that. And other than that, I think that's the only thing I would change if this wasn't a scrapscape. And now that this video is over, I might go get some of the black cardboard, paperboard, I don't know what it's called, but it's not the crap store. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I might just still put that on the back there. Now the other thing is I haven't added any fauna yet. There's no uh, fish, there's no inverts in here. There is life in here though. Um, see if we can see any. There are bugs in the moss here. Like I said, I took it from outside. I've already picked off probably about a dozen roly polies or isopods. And uh, they're still they still come out every once in a while. But uh, hopefully this stuff won't take too long to root in and it'll start spreading. I really dig it. I really like it. I'd like to get some more maybe over here. I could actually put a plant in here of some type. So now that the, the scrapscape part of it is over, I can go online and search for like terrarium plants. That'd be pretty cool. I don't plan on putting any type of top on this thing at all. So whatever fish I want to put in here, I want to make sure, you know, that they're not exactly jumpers. I realize all fish jump, but some fish definitely jump more than others, so I'll probably end up putting rainbow fish in here, but it'll be nice to do something different. I don't know. I still haven't decided, so leave your comments. Leave your comments. So leave your suggestions below on what I should put in here.
right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. This was so much fun to make. Thank you, Rachel O'Leary, for the challenge. If you don't know, Rachel O'Leary has a Scrapscape challenge going on her channel. There's a playlist of all different YouTubers doing it. It's been a lot of fun. So definitely head on over there and check it out, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.